All right, welcome back to the most innovative shipping container channel on social media. So I did a short on the solar powered shipping container fans. These are a basically a computer fan, uh, and they're you know about four and a half inches wide. We get the bigger, highest voltage wattage fan you can get, and it's waterproof with ball bearings. And we 3D print this case for it. And then we 3D print this gasket material that goes in between here. And that's a little bit softer material that you can run out of the 3D printer. And so you can see here, this is the container corrugation. So if we walk over to a container, basically you can see how this fits on. So this is the inside. Let me see the inside. Yes. Here we go. So it goes in the recess corrugation part. So this is the, it goes on the recess of the corrugation. And this is your inside piece is this one. This is your outside piece. And you can see your wires there coming out of the inside piece. And so this will clamp on the sidewall of any container. And this is where the container corrugation goes right there. And we generally put these up pretty high on the container and then you have the factory container vents that allow the air to come in so a lot of your one trip containers have 8 10 12 vents the more vents the better it prevents condensation it cools the containers down in the summer but if you can mount a solar panel on the roof of the container and this is a 25 watt which mates with these fans i don't have the spec in front of me but these fans pull about 24 watts uh, we're going to expect about 19, 18, 19, 20 watts out of this panel on a sunny day. Uh, basically, this is free airflow going through the container. It absolutely cools it down. And this fan and this solar panel flow about five times the amount that the Solar Blaster solar fan does that you can buy on Amazon for $300. We sell this whole kit for like $150 to $200 installed. Uh, we can also sell them and ship them. We put a lot of time into Installing solar fans, getting the entire fan system down, the shroud, making everything as uh, le the least intrusive possible on the container, i.e. cutting on the container as little as possible. What I hate about the solar blaster on Amazon, it's only got a 5 watt panel. The fan doesn't spin very much at all. We had problems with them, but you're cutting a hole in the roof of your container and you can never undo it. Here are some of the brackets we use to mount the solar panel and we bond these brackets to the roof so we're not drilling into the roof of the container for the solar panel. You kind of see how that goes there. So we bond that and then screw that bracket to the side of the solar panel. So we hate drilling in or cutting into shipping containers. Uh, if we can avoid it, we always avo avoid it. Let me show you one of these solar fan housings getting printed right now. So you can see we'll print as many parts as feasible at a time. You see we're printing the shroud right now and while we're printing the shroud we can't print two shrouds because you can see the space here but we can print two brackets while we're at it. And we use a higher temp plastic on all the stuff going on the exterior of the container so it doesn't melt obviously when the sun's out. So that's kind of what we got going on the solar fans, but they, they absolutely do help with condensation in the winter and cooling in the summer. They make a pretty big difference, and they're one of our most popular mods. So go to our website, simpleshippingcontainers.com, if you're interested in those. I'm going to be doing more reviews of products that I buy on Amazon. I had someone saying I was an affiliate and trying to sell a product and this and that, so I'm not putting links in the uh, comments anymore because... YouTube warned me for something and I'm not affiliate of anybody on Amazon. I don't make any money off anything on Amazon or any of these products that I show you guys. These solar fans are in-house. We don't have a link to them that I'm going to post, but these are our product. The other products that I say I got off Amazon and I like, like LED lights or whatever they are, I don't have anything to do with any of those. I just tell you if they're good or bad. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you got any questions on the solar fans and like and comment.